So this is my modern menu series and in this video we are going to learn the last one for this section but there are actually three more that I'm going to make which would be full screen versions so these are like smaller ones right but this is the one that we are going to learn today so you see we click on it it opens closes and if I hover on it it shows this sub menus and if you want to check the previous ones feel free to check it the links would be in the description with all code and if you want to get the paid template which includes all of this together and only for like five dollars also so just check it out it's pretty cool there are actually three more which will be included along this four and then yeah let's just get started then so i'm going to go back and forth from my previously created template around and then in the empty page because i don't remember all the code so first thing first let's just create a what you call what is this <laughs> a container good start i guess for this video and then i'll call this as i added extra con uh what you call floating menu i added extra container and let's call it like floating menu for time being this one should be given like this size and again this is not responsive for mobile and tablet so it only works for desktop devices so keep that in mind click on this to star and paste it what it basically means is that uh it would be whichever the lowest value would be so if the 98 percent of this width is lower than 800 pixel it would use that value but if the 800 pixel is lower than 98 percent of this screen size then it would use 800 pixels okay let's give it a black color let's give it a border radius of 10 actually nope we gave 50 percent nope what did i do here yeah, let's just check it so we we will give it a border of pixels 50 like this 50 pixels it's up to your choice and then this one would be given a css class which is dm menu container 4 everything would be in my website the link would be in description it's for free like the code is free the template is paid and all, all the CSS classes that I've used, all the code I've used would be there. So DM container 4, like the floating menu. Instead of this, I have added, let me just close the rest of it. Three, uh, what you call three containers. So let's add three containers instead of this one. So first one, let's add the second one. Let's just duplicate. Make it go from left to right like this i'm going to make it have zero gaps so like this no gap and then maybe have some padding on left and right like this okay no padding on top and bottom first one is our logo second one is our menu list and third one is our icon or something let's add our image which is going to be our logo for me it's this one i'm going to go in here and choose thumbnail so that it uses like the smallest image size it's good for uh, what you call page speed because let's say if you use large and then decided to make it small it doesn't make sense right because it would still be loading like a bigger file and all of these are files different image files that wordpress creates for every single image that you add so i'll do 150 I'll make the width to be pixel 70 and then pixel 70 like this uh, make this be in center let me just make it be in center like this be at the left side to object fit to be content and then let's do center center okay so 70 by 70 and let's do contain center center okay I'm going to select my logo and make it uh, logo container and make it 20% and then I'm going to choose grow okay so the logo and choose grow 20% then I'm going to make the third one which is the icon one same 20% and then choose as grow instead of this I'll add my icon you could add anything if you have a button or anything else just feel free to use it we just need to use the same css class for it so let's do insert that let's add a negative margin because for some reason elementor adds this margin let's make it um, black in color or oh, sorry white in color 
let's make it i guess 40 size around here and then i'm going to give it a css class of dm menu icon 4 like this let's make this one also be grow like this okay looks weird right uh, because it's getting outside this one but don't worry or maybe let's do grow later because it's looking weird right now but when we add the code it should work instead of this we will add our heading which would be from left to right in the center like this and let's call it as let's say home white color and then make it p because it's it's supposed to be like it's not like a good for seo if you use h1 h2 around here i'm also going to make it be in center like this let's just duplicate it i guess five times something like this okay let's do five maybe let's do services i'm just going to select this and choose grow for time being okay it looks weird i know but it's okay let's call it i guess team about and contact okay all of it needs to be given css class of dm menu list 4 dm menu list 4 dm menu list 4 dm menu list 4 and then dm menu list 4 next is inside of this i'll add my html widget like this we can basically hide it but this would be our menu code okay and i'll give you the code which would be in the description so copy that into this stuff so one thing that i forgot which is why it's not looking good is this list needs to be one more css class which is dm menu list container 4 like this And let me just click on it a bit and you could say it is working kinda and what i have simply need to do is in the icon list we can just make everything at the end like this so the menu icon is around there so if i close and open this is how it looks so now you could see the text is a bit cramped right obviously you could reduce the size of it but it should not it should not be like it would not work actually so why that happens is if i actually let's say make this 10 and let's make this 10 you would say it still does not look perfect because in the code i have given it as width 60 so it's same as going in here and then adding a width but i have added via code because we want to actually control it while via our animation gsap animation so right now if this is 10 and this is 10 then obviously this would be 80 and obviously this one would also be 80 I could say it looks perfect. It's 10, 80, 10, which is 100. And if I do close, open, you could say it just works. And rest is just giving it like link and all around here. And this is perfectly working. But let me just show you some more stuff before we move on to submenu. If you look into this code, this is where it is saying width 150. So basically it goes from 800 pixels of width to 150 pixels. So if I let's say make this to 200, what would happen? When I click on it, it would be a bit bigger. If I make this to be let's say 100, it would be a lot smaller. You would say it's a lot smaller. So 150 is what I found to be working for my logo and this stuff. But for you, it might be different. So you see this is how it looks and opens so just change the width around here and that's the final location it would reach to and again the initial uh, width would be around here 80 and then here would be 10 10 stuff like this so now let's move on to sub menu so in here i'm actually going to create a completely new container okay and i'm going to call it as sub menu box or something or maybe let's just create it inside of this one <laughs> rather than creating different I'm going to add it uh, after my or uh, before my sub menu. Sorry, before my menu. Let's make it like a specific height, okay? So 230. So that's how big I want my. If I go in here, if I hover on it, you could see this is how big it is. It's 230 pixels. Okay, you could choose percentage too, but I think for this case, it's good to use uh, pixels. Let's make it, I guess, for time being, let's make red and then give it like border radius. 
and instead of this we will add our heading and mainly actually no we will not add our heading this container uh, we are going to call it as sub menu and give it a css class of tm sub menu 4 okay now instead of this i'll add another container and this would be my first sub menu uh, elements or sub menu elements so let's say i want my sub menu for services team and for about or maybe services team and contact so let's do services and instead of this services we will add a heading and maybe let's add a web dev or something like this like like and subscribe something like this and subscribe okay so do that obviously you will need to style it to your liking I just made it to P and like this P and made it everything red because again we do not want to use H1, H2 for a sub menu, not good for SEO. Now, this one we will actually give CSS class. So, this one has been given already DM sub menu 4. This one would be given DM sub menu 4 content. Let's just duplicate it few more times. So, let's make it for about and let's make it for contact. And we can obviously name it like uh i guess about content or something and then this one would be contact and maybe let's just make it like bigger than normal and this one we will just make it two so this is how big the first container is second container is and third container all of them have been given css class dm4 content like this next thing i'm going to select this sub menu go into position click fixed choose bottom and going to give it 120 now based on which how much distance you give around here would be how further it is on the top so if i hover on it you could see it is 120 above like this and this is what i have chosen for my uh, this template and make sure to make this empty okay so the left one should be empty this is how far it should be you could actually test it out before doing anything so 120 and then make this empty like this now all we simply need to do is copy the sub menu code and paste it after everything else so i'll just paste it at the end of this one oops where is it okay let me just copy this code Cre uh, duplicate the menu code and then paste it in here so this is the menu code and this is the sub menu code like this let's do update let's try if it works or not it is looking weird around here for time being it's not showing up so why is it not showing up well because we haven't told which element should the sub menu show okay so right now we all of them have been given dm menu list 4 dm menu list 4 but it does not know which sub menu it should be given to for that we simply need to add this css class to the elements that you want to so right now i want the first one so in the sub menu the first one it should be always in the same order right so submit the services comes first so that uh, first uh what you call container should be services so i'll just go in here format text do space space and do sub menu then for about i'll do sub menu and then do sub menu so just do space and do sub menu list again because i have three of this container i've already I only added two three of them else it would like mess it up a bit it is kind of working but some issues so let's just fix it in the sub menu uh maybe add some padding like 20 or 40. it doesn't also have to be just like text okay you can actually add like anything that you want it's looking weird so let's just see what's causing the issue so what i've done is for the sub menu i've actually given zero and in the individual ones i've given like padding and either it doesn't just have to be text okay you could add an image your logo whatever you wish to let's see if that fixes it yep it fixed it and you could see now it just works nicely so make sure your sub menu has been given zero padding and rest of it has been given uh, your individual padding the amount you need or want 
and you could see it just works if i click on it it just closes i cannot click over anywhere right now if i click on it you could see now it just shows perfectly nothing shows on team for about contact like this you could add any image you could add your logo anything that you want and again if you want to get it as a template it's in my website for paid just five dollars so consider getting it or you could also use my links in description to get elementor pro that way also you could support me so yeah thanks for watching and there are three more that i'm going to make and yeah keep subscribing to find it next